Alright, today we're going to be learning about how to make a custom front page in Drupal, uh, specifically Drupal 7. You can see I've installed on my local machine here. Um, you're only going to need a couple of things. First thing is Drupal, and the second thing is a module called Front Page, which is available from drupal.org slash project slash front. And here you'll see uh, the module and that's available for Drupal 7 and Drupal 6. So let's close that and let's go to our Drupal installation. Under modules, let's enable that front page module. Check this. Enabled. Save configuration. Okay, saved. Now, typically, under configuration, click on configuration up here, you should see a front page option here. But for some reason today, it's not showing up on mine. So what we're going to do is go to modules. And you scroll all the way to the bottom. Uh, if you look at this front page module here, and just go to configure, you can configure the module settings straight from here. Okay, so you have three options here when you're creating a brand new front page in Drupal. Um, uh, sorry, several options. You have options based on role. And then once you're in that role, let's go to anonymous users because this is the one that you're probably most concerned about. Um, you have a couple of different options. And there's modes here. Skip. Um, I mean, they, they, they're pretty much explained right here, but I'll go ahead and explain them to you again. Um, Themed is going to apply anything that you already have loaded in your theme, your style sheets, your theme. Full is what I use, um, which doesn't really apply anything. It only takes what you put in the box. Uh, and so I just create an HTML page, just a raw HTML, you know, exactly like I want it to look like. Pretty bland, um, pretty just hand coded. And I copy it straight into this text box here. Um, redirect is you know, if you want to direct them to a different page. Um, and then I never use alias. So uh, the one thing you want to make sure you have here is full HTML text format enabled. Also, if you're going to create a home page that uses any kind of PHP scripts, um, you're going to want to add a PHP text format. And I've shown you that. Um, I've got a blog article about how to do that. So just look up that on bentetter.com. You can just do a search for uh, PHP text format with Drupal. So full HTML. Let's just do a little HTML head title hello head body hello Drupal world body HTML. Okay, so I've just got that basic uh, thing there, I'm going to go ahead and do a full redirect. Okay, um, let me zoom out a bit and we'll go to save settings. Okay, also, um, the one thing you want to check is this front page override. Just basically, it's saying yes, enable this. I'm not really sure why they would have that, but um, basically, your front page override, your front page is now controlled by this module if you have this selected. Let's save those settings. Settings have been saved. I'm going to close this, log out, and now you see, hello Drupal world. This is just my bland HTML page. Let's view the source, and you can see there it is, uh, just my plain HTML. Now you're probably wondering how to get back in after this. If you're not familiar with Drupal, quick way, go to your address bar, and just your base installation, then type in user. And there you go, you can log right back in that way. So that's basically it, um, how to create a custom front page in Drupal 7. Hope you enjoyed it.